So I gotta get out these pants. They, they cut my circulation off. Welcome to another OMAD vlog. If this is your first time here, my name is Raquel. We lose weight on this channel, dear. Um, I hope you hit the subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, all of that stuff. I hope you stick around is what I'm trying to say, okay? I just left the grocery store. I am headed to Edit. I'm headed to Edit, but before I do, I'm going to zoo a little grocery haul i hope it's not too bright no it's not too bright okay let's do this grocery we went to kroger we got some almond milk too good this is gonna be my first time giving these a try um it's four carbs in here 12 grams of protein zero added sugar and 80 calories so i got some of these because i'm going to drink some supplement shakes I will definitely be sure to let you guys know how these taste. And I got them in the flavor vanilla. Got grapefruits and I also got some lemon. This is for my water. I've been flavoring my water lately. So I'm gonna do lemon, grapefruit, and cucumber. Got some shaved beef. Last week I went to Tra Trader Joe's and got some. But this week I got the Kroger brand just out of convenience. So we're gonna be eating red meat. If you're an OG to the channel, then you already know, I always double back to these salads. These come in handy. I tend to eat the whole bag. If I'm gonna eat it as my one meal, I eat the whole bag. Um, I have a broccoli crunch salad, and then I have two steakhouse wedge salads. Normally I like to put fruit in my salad, but fruit and nuts, but can't have fruit in the salad. Uh, I probably could drop a little strawberries in there, but really I don't like strawberries in my salad too much. I prefer grapes in my salad, but we ain't really doing it right now. But anywho, I got two bags of these. They're one gram carb, one fiber. So they mean what? Zero net carb. So we definitely gonna load up on these, honey. Last but not least, I got some cube cheese because, um, why? Because I got some pepperoni still in the refrigerator from last week, and we just gonna kinda snack on this. Not really snack on it, but I'm just saying have some variety for my one meal, you know. So yeah, that's the meal for the week pretty much. I'm still eating at home, not eating at work. I'm eating at home this week, so I'm gonna come home, make my salad up, um, make me a smoothie and cheese and pepperoni. If you missed last week's vlog, I'll put it right up here. I hope you guys go check it out and definitely listen to my commentary at the end of the vlog. You'll get an update on how much I weigh, my thoughts on the scale, my thoughts on the weight loss journey, the ups and downs, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> make sure you go. Check it out. I'm about to head, um, find me a nice little hotel lobby to sit in. Y'all taking my butt down on so I can feel studious, like I'm really working. I am working. Editing is a job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'll see you guys, um, tonight when we make this salad. I got some almonds, shaved almonds on top, and the shaved beef as well. I'm eating the whole bag of the salad as my meal, and this protein shake. Don't want to focus. Y'all know it's Premier Protein, and I'm uh, absolutely super duper, uber, 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 uber hungry. And this is the first meal of the vlog. I'm so sorry I'm rushing through this, y'all, but I'm, I'm so hungry. Bye. Hey, 
happy Wednesday. I have, although it looks nothing like the picture, okay? Nothing. I'll let you guys know how it tastes. I'll put it on the screen whether or not it's worth buying or not. I got some shaved beef ooh, that I just um, cooked up. I got this broccoli bake. I made myself a salad. I have some shaved almonds, cucumber, some lettuce, a little shredded cheese, and a little uh, pepperoni that I got on uh, last week's vlog that I really, I don't think I even ate it last week. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I used it today. And I have this two sugar yogurt or whatever, two grams, that ain't sugar. Yeah, two grams of sugar yogurt with some more almonds. I, I can't eat yogurt without some type of a, a crunch. So this is Wednesday's meal. I'm starving, starving, starving. I ain't really starving, but I'm extremely hungry. So um, if anybody's wondering, it is 5.30 p.m. I went ahead and threw a couple pepperoni and cheese on here. So this stuff won't start going bad, you know, so. I took a grapefruit, squeezed a little juice out of it, and filled up my glass with water and dropped a cucumber in it. And y'all, it's really good. It is really good. Happy Thursday night, I have the shaved beef that I've been buying lately. <laughs> shaved beef in a steak salad. Only thing that I added to this salad was a little bit of shredded cheese. I have yogurt and shaved almonds as well. Two of the yogurts. So on Friday, I went to the Hyatt Hotel to get some more wings and a burger. And I guess the chef or the cook thought he was hooking me up. God bless him. I appreciate it. But he put fries in there and it was the biggest temptation to say no. I would say I ate about five of these fries and then I caught myself and was like, no, Raquel, you can say no. And I don't know if y'all know this. French fries. I don't talk about French fries a lot, but just know that um, they are a trigger for me. So... I caught myself and I stopped eating them. Y'all saw me throw the trash, the napkin on them just to make it official. And I ate my burger instead, which was absolutely delicious. And now we're on Saturday and I just got off work and I'm making me a broccoli kale um, stir fry. I thought about eating it as a salad, but I did not want to really eat anything cold. So I dumped the bag in the skillet instead, sauteed it up with some of the teriyaki sauce and the sweet chili sauce from Trader Joe's. And I made me a beef stir fry and it was really, really, really good. I have in my yogurt. I cannot eat yogurt without some crunch. And if this is not enough, I am gonna add more because I cannot eat yogurt without that texture. I have to have crunch for me to eat yogurt. This is the stir fry. Salad turned into stir fry. I got a whole lot of protein in this bowl. It's late. I don't want to eat a lot tomorrow. We're going to try out this new restaurant, baby. This restaurant has got so many good reviews. It's ridiculous. So I'm excited to try them out. This was absolutely delicious. What's up, guys? Happy Sunday. I'm headed to brunch with my best friend. His name is Marvell. If you have not met him, I'll be sure to introduce him <laughs> to you guys because honestly I got some new subscribers and Marvell has not been on the vlog in I don't know a very a very long time but anyway we're gonna go to Itabena say hey to the vlog 
Okay, but I gotta put my new shades on. Oh, let's get into these shades. Let's get into this. Ooh. Ooh. Amazoniana. Amazoniana. So we are at Courtside Grill right across from the FedEx Forum. Ugh. We was gonna go to Itabina, but I didn't know that they open up at five. So we'll have to go to Inabina on a night where we're doing dinner. We were trying to do brunch today. Me and my best day. We don't people here, y'all. Really, Courtside Grill is a really delicious place to eat. So if you're in Memphis, definitely come give them a try. I don't know why they be empty in here, because the food is good and the service be good, but tell them Raquel sent you, because I testify for you. I do that three, four times again. I testify for you. I told her that you're cute. So Marvell has a collard green fondue. It is like their spin on spinach dip, but it's with collard greens instead. Um, sorry the camera is shaking, but y'all, just, just, just come try them out. Marvell was very impressed, and he's a foodie, just like me. Um, I had wings, collard greens, these collard greens, baby, they taste like my mama's. They taste like my mama's. And if I say that, that's a, that is the highest compliment. I had some catfish and I had mac and cheese, but I didn't eat the mac and cheese, y'all. I've been saying no. This is the mac and cheese. I took one bite because I had to taste it. And Marvell took a bite, and then Marvell took the rest um, to take them to lunch with him for the next day. But this is me just showing you guys that I did not eat that mac and cheese. today I did not I wasn't able to film really my um leg extensions and I wasn't able to film my hamstring curls but I did them I did not bring my tripod so it was kind of difficult filming today's workout but I tried to make do but um, I pretty much did four exercises and 30 minutes on the Stairmaster again and then I went to Kroger Let's do a grocery haul. See the thing about you that caught my eye is the same thing that makes me change my mind. Kind of hard to explain, but girl, I try. So what was the thought process behind this week's grocery haul? Baby, I was craving some of everything. I ain't know which way to go. I didn't know which way to I didn't know which way to go, y'all. I was like, hmm, I can do like a chicken teriyaki lettuce boat. That'd be good with that broccoli um salad mix. 
or I'm gonna eat that um those meatballs with like cube cheese y'all seen it before on the channel with like cube cheese and the pepperoni little things that I got last week that I really just didn't really eat make me a little meat and cheese tray with that so that I'm gonna count as a snack part of my meal as far as my base like my entree that's what I didn't know which way to go because first I had ground beef <laughs> I was like well okay, I can do me a lettuce burger I was gonna get that edamame pasta but someone commented about the fiber in it and it could have your stomach doing some crazy stuff so I was like mm. I don't know. I'm going to try it one day, but I was just like, I don't know if I'm in the mood to just try that. Even though this, this just sounded too good. What is this? Palmini? I've never had it before. If I eat this today, I'm going to cook with you guys. But if I make that broccoli teriyaki stuff, then I'm not because I always... I done made this stuff over and over and over and over again on the channel. But this is linguine. It's 20 calories per serving, right? It's three servings in the pack. So you really can eat this whole pack for 60 calories. Uh, it's four carbs. Gluten-free, sugar-free. I hope it don't taste like that. But uh, it's vegan. I was like, okay, we're gonna try that. So that's why I got the shrimp, because I may do like a shrimp pasta. That's why I got the Alfredo sauce. I may do like a shrimp linguine, low carb style. I don't know, because now that I was in the store getting this stuff, I really don't know what I want to cook, but I like the fact that I got some variety. These, I really like these, y'all. I don't really eat yogurt. I'm a texture person and yogurt texture is just not giving, okay? So I have to have like nuts or granola in it for me to eat it. Um, but this week I'm gonna put this in my protein shake and make me like a protein smoothie. If you like yogurt though, these are good, like taste-wise. Sometimes I have to put like a little half of Splenda in there. I'm not gonna lie, a half will go a long way just to give it a sweeter taste. Cause like I said, yogurt, especially like Greek yogurt, ugh. Oh my God, I can't even believe like, like it is just the taste is so, ugh. Anyway, give these a try. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Give them a try because they're two grams of fat and three carbs and 80 calories. So if I'm saying that they're good and I hate yogurt, you you may really like these. If you like yogurt, you're gonna like these. Very good on my water today. I said last time that this was 45 ounces. It's actually 48 ounces. You know, you put them extra three ounces on there. It's a 48 ounce jug. So I'm like right here and it's noon. So I'm doing really good on water. If I can get one more of these down today, I'm gonna be cooking with grease, baby. That's all I'm saying. I got a new girl. She got my whole heart, but she don't know her. So that's a good start. So baby, we don't see eye to eye. Two different people. I wonder why. I exhale a joint into the sky. Let out all the bad memories. Like if you love me, love me like you never said you did. Mm. Oh, when the roof was on fire, you ain't even give a shit, baby. You say you're sorry, honey, but I'll be leaving now Cause when the roof was on fire, you just watched it burn to the ground Yeah, Roof is on fire, baby, we gon' burn it down Roof is on fire, baby, we gon' burn it down Roof is on fire, baby, we gon' burn it down Without ever letting you know Roof is on fire, baby, we gon' burn it down Roof is on fire, baby, we gon' burn it down Roof is on fire, baby, we gon' burn it down 
And I hope it burns down to the ground And I hope you hear every sound of us arguing So, when I say that the dress is too big I mean that I have to tighten this dress tight for it to stay like this tight to where it's uncomfortable it's uncomfortable for me to sit and it's uncomfortable for me to just be it really needs to be tighter <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. in order for it to stay on me which looks crazy and when i wore it in new york i didn't have to do all this how i tied it in new york like this When I start moving around, which I really don't have time to show you guys, the dress starts to look like this. I be out <laughs> and about, and then I look down and I be like, what the? And I have to do this, and then I have to, you know, try to hurry up and cinch it so it'll stay, and it just become, becomes uncomfortable. It's something that I realized, um, because I was wearing the dress so much that when it started to be like, whoa, I gotta be like this for this dress to stay put, I just made it up in my mind that I can't really wear this dress anymore because it's not really fitting the way that it should. So yeah, right now, this is my non-scale victory. Um, having to super cut my circulation off in order for my dress to stay put. Um, so I'm just gonna have it taken in. My favorite little H&M dress. It ain't got a little sloppy on me, all right? All right. What's up guys? Happy Tuesday. It is April the 16th, two weeks in the white outfit is a good two weeks for me, baby. It's giving, it's giving, uh, it's giving when old man first started. We were serious. Okay, but anywho. <sighs> Might as well hit them with the flex, hit them with the flex. This is, oh yeah, y'all. I'm losing a little weight. Uh oh, -uh. nope, I see it. I don't care, I don't care. This is how I'm looking. I had a really good week last week. A really good week. My food wasn't boring. I really didn't get tired of it. It was a good week. I'm on my way to Hot Pilates, but before I go, I want to, and before I close the vlog, I want to get my measurements as promised. I tried on the dress. I'm trying to keep my word. I tried the dress on, showed you guys that it is fitting bigger. We are skipping the scale this week. Even though I had to talk about the ovulation and that is more than likely the reason why I was up four pounds. I just don't really care to know if it went down, up, anything. I got on the scale last week. That's what it said. I get on the scale when I feel ready to get on the scale. I don't want nothing to come in between how good I'm feeling, okay? All right. I'm going to say 35, but it's really like... It's really like 34 and three quarters. 29 and a half. 34. 42 and a quarter. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We got our measurements. We got something tangible. We, um, you know what? I'm going to show y'all some pants that I am trying to get back in. I was wearing these pants last year and... I didn't even know how small I was until I tried to get in them this year. These are my new gold pants. I'm gonna go run and get them right quick. Um, these pants, I had no idea just how snatched I was. They are size 28. And after wearing them for a while, they used to get loose. About a month ago, I tried these on. Maybe, why they came about right here? We're gonna see where I'm at in getting in these. I don't know where I got them from. Maybe TJ Maxx. It's April 16th. We're gonna try these on May 1st. I'm happy about these pants. I wish I would've tried them on so y'all could've saw. They weren't coming over the hips. It's, I gotta get out these pants. They, they cut my circulation off. 
thank you guys for watching this vlog i hope y'all enjoy make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you say hi in the comments at least um keep going keep going it's not easy it's not easy you just gotta um you just can't quit i'll see you guys in next week's vlog and we're gonna try these pants on again may the first bye then dip me underway You can hit my mouth with love when I went slow Hold me till I scream for every